are here. Okay, let me go ahead. We're going to bring in our cast of characters, starting off with the uh, major role is, uh-oh, had, had the wrong, wrong setting set up. We've got author Daniel Allen Butler as playing the role of the major in a uh, table reading of five characters in search of an exit. The next major character is Marcus Ellsworth as the clown. Uh, after that comes the ballerina is Janet. And after the ballerina comes our bagpiper, author Stephanie Osborne, whose mic is muted. All right. Uh, and after that, playing the uh, hobo's uh, role is uh, the artist for uh, 2018 Calicon, the uh, Digital Nightmares. But the best role is the best is the guy that actually was known as the narrator mm. is uh, Stupid O'Clock's news director, Mr. Lewis Lee. I want to thank all of y'all for do, for doing this. This is a table read of a show of an episode called Five Characters in Search of an Exit. Due to copyright rules, we had to sort of change the name of what the show is. We are calling this show The Not Quite Dark Area. Uh, and I will be the Foley artist in the background. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, there's part of the script that isn't filled because we actually pre-recorded that as a punchline for this. So is everybody ready? Hey. Ready as I'll ever be. Let's have at it. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to draw. <clears throat> Playing musical boxes. <laughs> Well, it would it help if I I hit the wrong button? As usual, uh. <laughs> I was just going on. And the joke arch nemesis of buttons. Yeah, yeah, my great nemesis of buttons. I was saying that this <laughs> is the Halicon Actors Group. And the acronym. Hag. Hag. Yeah. Halloween. Hag. Okay. I tried to be funny. Roll the open. Roll the open. All right. <clears throat> A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Your next stop, the not quite dark area. 
<laughs> oh, the fleet's in. No, no, it isn't the fleet. It's, is it? It's the army. The army's in. Hooray for the army. Get the troops out of the sun. ta ra ra boom die. <laughs> Your orders, Colonel, General, or whatever you are. I'm a major. Aw, don't fret. Advancement comes quickly, even in the peacetime army. Today, you're a major. Tomorrow, you're a brigadier. A major to a brigadier? Well, that's quite a compliment. You really are a generous chap. You, you, you're really a generous chap. Problem? Problem? No, no, no. There's... Just that what? It's just that a couple of very important items seem to have eluded me, like who I am. You said that you were a major. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Who are you? What are you doing? What are you doing here? Is, is there a circus around here somewhere? A circus? <laughs> yes, yes, the circus. That makes sense. A clown, a circus, an officer, a war. <laughs> uh, that's logic, isn't it? But it doesn't figure at all. Not at all. Why not? Because there is no circus. And there is no war. You are just like the rest of us. The rest of us? Bagpipes can be heard playing in the distance. Uh, 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 what's, what, what's going on here? Where, where are we? What are we? Who are we? Come on, who are we? None of us know, Major. We don't know who we are. We don't know where we are. We just woke up one moment, and here we are, in the darkness. Uh, how, how could that happen? That is the question we ask ourselves. The question with no answer. Major, it nameless things with no memory, no knowledge of what came before, no understanding of what is now, no knowledge of what will be. How long will we be here? Oh, that is a very good question. That is the best question of all but nobody knows the answer. Clown, hobo, ballet dancer, bagpiper, and an army major. A collection of question marks. Five improbable entities stuck together in a pit of darkness. No logic, no reason, no explanation, just a prolonged nightmare in which fear, loneliness, and the unexplainable walk hand in hand through the shadow. In a moment, we'll start collecting clues as to the whys, the whats, and the wheres, we will not end the nightmare, we will only explain it, because this is Halicon's not-quite-dark area. Hey guys, it's Angel with Immortal Impressions, doing the vir virtual thing for Halicon 2020. Um, Y'all can visit us at 4 Immortal Impressions on Facebook. Send us a private message. We can handle all of your ceramic, sewing, 3D printing, masks, costumes, and all the other goodies that we have. And we'll be glad to take care of you. Y'all have a good con and a good year. Oh, a very active chap. Got to function. Very compulsive worker. You're some big-time psychologist, huh? 
I'm a clown, which is neither here, there, or anywhere. I could be a certified public accountant, a financier, a left-handed pitcher who throws only curves. It doesn't matter. We're here because we're here because we're here because we're here. You're wasting your time, you know that? You're an idiot. An energetic idiot, but an idiot all the same. I want out of here. I'm not content to sit around here having heaving deep sighs. I want out of here. You've got no monopoly on that, Major. We all want out of here. Seconded. Certainly, but you're wasting your time, Major. Each of us has gone around like a bloodhound. Nose to wall, nose to floor. Uh, well, what's up there? Oh, you know, the sky, artificial light, a fluorescent lamp, an illuminated microscope, you name it. One guess is as good as the other. Maybe we're on another planet. Or maybe we're on a spaceship going to another planet. Or maybe we're all insane. Or maybe this is a mirage. We're dead, and this is limbo. We don't really exist. We're dream figures from somebody else's existence. Or we're each of us having a dream. Everyone is in someone else's dream. You called it, you can have it. That's the one thing we have an abundance of. Possibilities. An infinite number of possibilities. possibilities. Well, how about getting out of here? Anybody examined that possibility? Have you, Major? We're trapped down here. There's no way out. This is a nightmare. It must be a nightmare. It has to be. Is indeed, but whose? Yours, mine, the Scotsman, the ballet dancer? Just whose nightmare is it? Well, someone knows we're here. How so? Well, you've all been here for a while, right? Someone must bring you food, water. Well, doesn't someone bring you food? There's been no food or water. But we'll starve to death. We'll die of thirst. Do you feel hungry, Major? Or thirsty? Or pain? Discomfort? Fatigue? Do you feel anything? Anything at all, Major? Well, no. No, it's true. I, I don't feel anything, but it only makes sense that I'm not hungry or thirsty. I'm suffering from shock or the after effects of shock. None of us feel anything. None of us have felt anything since we've been here. And we've been here for an endless time. This is incredible. This is really incredible. Have you tried shouting? Endlessly. Well, have you... Have you pounded on the walls? And I mean hard. Have you taken off your shoe and pounded on the walls? Have you done that? Often. Well, have you checked the walls? Maybe there's a lever or a button or something, a control panel. Maybe, maybe there's a control button. For a while. For a long while, that's all we did. We hunted, searched, and peered, and looked and then we realized that the whole universe was right here for our purposes this is the whole universe this little room what it's a giant bell or something that's what it sounds like
Hey, hey, you, you hear me? Help us. Please, can you help us? Please, Major, don't be afraid. It's hard in the beginning, but after a while, it gets better. Why don't you dance for us? It helps pass the time. I'll play for you. Oh, yes, the Major's never seen you dance. And we're going to have to take a break because our Major just disappeared. Died. Died. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's back. <laughs> okay. Uh, bagpipe was playing. Ah, oh, wonders of internet. Your line, Major. Give him the line before. Major. So oh, okay. The major doesn't playing. want to see you dance. Major's not interested. Major just wants to get out of here. Through the wall. Have you thought of that? Oh, that's very bright. Terribly ingenious. Highly imaginative. Incredibly inventive. <laughs> With what? With our hands? With our fingernails? With this, this, this. Please, Major. After a while, it'll get a lot easier. Perhaps, perhaps there are a lot of dungeons like this. Maybe we've just never heard of them before. Perhaps they're for the unloved. Perhaps that's who we are. The unloved. No, 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 no. We must have names or people, and that means we belong somewhere. Somehow there must be people who care about us. We, we, we've had our lives cut away from us. We, 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 we got to get them back, each and every one of us. Come on, let's try a tunnel. A, 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 a tunnel, we'll, we'll... I know where we are. It, it, it suddenly came to me. I know where we are. Where are we? Why, my dear young lady, it seems very apparent. Everything's locking into place now. Please tell me where we are. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems very unequivocal. It seems quite clear now. We are in hell. God help us. <laughs> oh, never say die, that one. It'll come to it eventually, just like we did. Let him be. Let him have his fun. At least he's trying. Oh, he is indeed. He's been trying for several hours now. <clears throat> and I think we had an internet glitch. There we go. We're trying several hours now. Oh, he is indeed. He's been trying for several hours now. All right. It's smooth. Met now, 
where to climb up. We could have told you that hours ago. We'll just have to find another way out. Oh, do, do. Perhaps we could pretend that we're acrobats. Alley hoop and over the top. Wait a minute. Oh, come on now. This is getting a little ridiculous. Why, why not? Why not what? Well, you said it. Acrobatics. A figure of speech, my dear, not meant to be taken seriously. I grant you that we have somehow forfeited some of our human dignity, but we are nevertheless governed by human frailty, not the least of which is gravity. Perhaps you know some acrobatics I'm quite unaware of? No, 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 no. And... Oh, no, no, no. I think she may be onto something. One on top of the other, right? Come on, it isn't that way. Isn't that the way they do that in circuses? I'll ask it when it comes in. I assure you that, though I may wear the costume of a clown, I have no recollection whatsoever of having been one. Now, it's true we don't feel hunger or thirst, but pain is quite another thing. A drop from, oh, say, uh, 20 feet or so onto this hard floor, that is a sensation I can do without. It's a chance. It's a chance. Yes, it is. She's right. It is a chance. Now, come on. This can work. I'll go first, then the clown on my shoulders, and then the hobo, and the bagpiper, and then the ballerina. Now, come on. Help out. We'd never reach it. We could try. Who's to say we couldn't reach it? We don't know how high it is. That's the point exactly. We would be exerting ourselves for nothing. Now, let's all sit down and we'll have a little entertainment. Oh, come on, clown. On my shoulders. Observation. Things were far simpler before you arrived. However, I go with the majority. They've all formed a human tower, and the ballerina starts to climb. All right, miss. It's up to you. I, I can't reach it. It's just a little above me. It's several more feet to the top. Come on, take your time. You stretch, try, you've got to try. <laughs> The tower topples and they all tumble to the floor. Uh, the ballerina grabs her knee. How's your leg? I think I strained it, but I will be okay. How much further? How much more would it have taken? I could almost feel it. You are almost there. A miss is as good as a mile. Not in this case. We're only two or three inches away. That's hardly a mile. Now, come on. Let's try again. This time it'll be different. We'll leave the ballerina out of it. The clown first, hobo, then piper. Then I climb up. Then, then, then we, we tie a rope around my gun, fling it over the ledge, let it hook on. 
Very ingenious. But hadn't one of better hadn't one of better run over to the hardware store and pick up the rope? He's right. We don't have any rope. He's right. We don't have any rope. Pieces of your clothing, then. Tear pieces of cloth. Tear. Come on. There's a chance. Oh, all right. The clown begins to remove a decorative rope from his costume. Six yards of quality material. Huh. Happy now? Now here. This time, we'll make it. Rope around the gun, gun over the edge, it hooks on the ledge, then I'm up, 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 and away. Then what? We'll worry about that when it happens, okay? I promise you, we'll get out of here. Unless one of us gets out, none of us gets out. And that's the logic you can, you can live with. The human tower again starts to reassemble. The major climbs up the clown, then the hobo. Finally, he scales the bagpiper. Slowly, they hand up the gun and rope up to the major. Once in his hand, he tosses it several times to reach the lip of their prison. On the fourth try, it catches, and he begins the climb to the top. He looks out. Well, what's there? What do you see? Major, where are we? Ah! The Major falls from view. The remainder of the group climbs down and gather, looking up. Hey guys, it's Angel with Immortal Impressions, doing the virtual thing for Halicon 2020. Um, Y'all can visit us at Four Immortal Impressions on Facebook. Send us a private message. We can handle all of your ceramic sewing 3D printing, masks, costumes, and all the other goodies that we have, and we'll be glad to take care of you. Y'all have a good con and a good year. Brave man, but not a very bright one. He'll come back for us. I know he will. Oh, he may come back, but not for us. He may have been right at that. He may have been very right. This may be... Hell. I found this in the snow. Someone must have dropped it. Oh, thank you, dear. Just drop it in that barrel over there, will you? You don't have very many, do you? Oh, dear, no. Not nearly enough. It's for the orphans, you know. But it's still early, and we have only just started. Dolls for Christmas. Dolls for Christmas. Dolls for Christmas. Dolls for Christmas. Open your hearts, dear people. Just a barrel. A dark depository where are kept the counterfeit, make-believe pieces of plastic and cloth wrought in the distorted image of human life. But this added hopeful note, perhaps they are unloved only the moment. In the arms of children, there can be nothing but love. A clown, a hobo, a bagpiper, a ballerina, and a major. Tonight's cast of players on this odd stage of Halicon, known as the not quite dark area.